Hudson, Extension Educator for Purdue Extension here in Fulton County. And I have with me today... Abby Malco. And where do you work, Abby? RTC TV. There you go. And here we are again doing another cooking show for you. Yes. So what we are going to do today is tomato and basil salad. And as you can see, I have all fresh ingredients. I have tomatoes, cucumbers, and a yellow pepper. Uh, the other part that we're going to put in our salad is some feta cheese. And we will also make a vinegar and oil dressing. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to uh, talk to you about is the basil leaf. Now this salad calls for fresh basil. And when you wash these, uh, you want to put this under a cold stream of water, just a steady stream of water, and you just want to rub across it just a bit, front and back, and then when you're finished with your leaves, you want to pat them dry. Now, when you're looking at basil, what you want to look at is the bright green color, and basil can also come in a purple color. Uh, the deeper the green, or purple as that goes, uh, usually the more fresh it is. Okay. And it um, <clears throat> will last longer, of course, when you have to keep it. Now, when you keep this in your refrigerator, what you can do is just put this in a damp uh, paper towel mm -hmm. and just kind of roll it loosely and put it in a bag and put that in your refrigerator. It'll keep for maybe a week. Okay, so these so. leaves have to be individually washed. You can't throw yeah. it in a no. colander and no. squish them up? And the other thing is they bruise easily, so you do oh. have to be careful with okay. them. Now, the other thing that I want to mention, when you smell basil, mm -hmm. you'll smell that Yes. strong flavor and it's a mint flavor. Yes. Now another term for this is St. Joseph's wort. Oh, that's, and, that, that doesn't sound as good as basil. Yeah. <laughs> so we will continue to call this <laughs> basil because it sounds so much better. So here's what we're going to do. Now I've already got these lined up, but you start with your largest leaf and you just keep packing until you get to your smallest. So the largest on the bottom up to the smallest. Then what you want to do, and I'm gonna flip these just a little bit. You wanna make sure that your stems are off because sometimes the stems uh, may have a little stronger flavor. Mm -hmm. So you wanna make sure that those are off. Okay, then what you wanna do is roll this you want to roll it lengthwise, just like that. Okay. Okay, take your knife and kind of put the, the edge of it down and go through it. Okay. And this is going to create somewhat of a ribbon. This is food art we are doing right now. Yes, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Yes. So, these are about quarter inch. I can smell that as soon as you yeah, cut Yeah, as wow. soon as you cut into it. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this, and I've got some in this other uh, little container here, but you can see after you play with it a bit and it comes to life, mm -hmm. um, you can, you, it smells, you can also, uh, whoops, I don't want to put that in there, and it's kind of revitalizes yeah. it. Now, uh, if you'll get the bowl, we will go ahead and just Put this in. Okay. Um, and how many basil leaves are we adding? We, we are doing about a fourth of a cup okay. of fresh basil. And once you get it in there, you might just want to um, run your hands through it just a bit. Make now, the there. other thing that you can do, if you don't want to use a knife to cut this, you can take a pair of kitchen scissors and, and cut, and cut right. it. Okay. Yeah. Because some people are more comfortable doing that yeah. than they are. Well, if your um, knife isn't sharp, it could right, ruin, right. like you said, bruises. So this sort of makes a ribbon uh, type setting. Now, the other uh, vegetable that I wanted to show you how to do is the green onion. Now, with the green onion, and this recipe calls for three green onions, when you look at your green onion, you've got, of course, the root here, which will cut off, and then you have your white all the way up to uh, the darker green. So what you want to do for something like a salad is cut where that lightest part is. The dark part of the green onion is for garnishes. 
on the top on of the top of things yeah or on the plate as right. a plate garnish this is what goes into cooked dishes okay. and salads so right before it gets to the skimming yeah. out portion right. where you cut right okay so the first thing that we're going to do is cut the root off and then usually you want to cut down the middle of it mm -hmm. and then just put those two together and once again kind of aim that knife to where um, hey, babe, I tell you what take this knife don't okay. kill yourself right there. yeah that's good. kind of a large uh, knife and just scoop it and go ahead and put it in, in the, the bowl. Big bowl? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'll cut these others. I'll use this as my shovel knife. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So once again, get to about your lightest, where it starts getting into the deeper green, is where you want to cut. Yeah, I was curious as to how people got the shape of their onion. I see that you cut it down the center. Yeah. And that's how you get those nice sized right. onions. And now I did wash these, so I just cut it down the center mm -hmm. and, and as you get towards the green, does it get a little yeah, softer? Yeah, it gets a little softer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get this one. Now, when you're when you're doing this, just make sure that you <laughs> watch where your fingers yes. are. Yes because if you're using a dull knife, that can be a little hard uh, to get through this, this onion. Watch your fingers and others fingers, yes, right? that is true. <laughs> so there you go. Awesome. And there we have it. So what I will do with the remainder of these green onions, and some people call these spring onions uh, as well. So um, I'm gonna keep these and use them for a garnish uh, in something later on. Now, the other thing that I wanna do here, um, I have, I wanna show you my tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes and they are cut you can see them here they are cut in halves and to be honest I, I washed these and if you'll notice I didn't even bother to take the ends off of them because that's so incidental that I don't think there will be uh, any problem there right so there is a, a two cups of tomatoes here so Abby go ahead and put those in okay uh, then we've got one large tomato or I'm sorry one large cucumber and what they want you to do here is to chop these and I took the peel off now I do want to say this you can leave that peel on especially if these cucumbers are homemade now the ones in the store will have that it's kind of like a, a greasy feel yep. on them when you buy them, and that's just to basically protect them. Okay, and you want so, that removed. Yeah, and that's what was on these. Okay. So I went ahead and peeled them mm -hmm. because sometimes that little coating on there makes them somewhat, I don't know, difficult to eat. Yes. Or you exactly. wonder if what you're eating right. with the cucumber, so that's not a good thing. Yes. So I went ahead and peeled them, and then the recipe said to chop. So I did that, and that's what we have there. Now, the other ingredient that goes in here is one small yellow bell pepper. Now, let me say this about the bell peppers. One thing that you've got going here, um, and you'll see this when, when you look at this, you have a mixture of green and red so far yeah because you've got a little you've got that lighter green with your cucumbers and then you've got that dark green uh, with your basil so put in this for another uh, addition of color and the thing of it is believe it or not the yellow and the red and the orange bell peppers are sweeter than the green ones I have heard that yeah so the green ones can be somewhat bitter mm -hmm. and they kind of give a strong flavor many times to your food yes. so two reasons for using this it adds a different intensity of color yes. to the the salad plus it does have a sweeter taste to it right so that's just one bell pepper, so we'll go ahead and put that in. Well, I know she I, can mix that at the store. Um, I was at Kroger recently, and they have a package of red, orange, and yellow onions that 
or peppers, excuse me, that come together. So right. You can buy them in a nice package, and then the green peppers are separately. So sure. I'm sure they package the sweeter ones together. Yeah. And then the green ones are off to the side. Yeah. Now, as you can see, um, we have the beginnings here of a really nice looking salad, very colorful salad. Yeah, the yellow is really good. And the other thing that we want to add is uh, three tablespoons of feta cheese and it's crumbled. And it's just the regular feta. It's my favorite cheese. So uh, we'll mix that just a bit. Now, in nutrition, the more colors you have, the more vivid they are, and as bright as these are, you're getting a lot of nutrition right. in a bowl of salad mm -hmm. here. So this is a good thing for most people. And you know this summertime, we're all starting to plant gardens, yeah. and you have a lot of delicious fruits in that, or vegetables and fruits, I guess, in the garden or around the garden. So at any rate, Use your fresh stuff. If you don't grow a garden, go to the farmer's market because it has excellent fresh foods and fresh foods are so good in these salad treats. Right, you can even smell, like I know we talked about the basil before, but just the combination smells and right. looks delicious. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I've got three tablespoons and this is olive oil. Um, the olive oil is just a classic olive oil. And if you're not sure, olive oils are different. Uh, this one it'll have on here great for cooking and some of them will say great for salads or great for dressings or whatever okay. so you want to read your label mm -hmm. to see what that particular uh, olive oil is for grab the so, correct kind uh, let's go ahead and pour this in now my recipe and this is three tablespoons of olive oil my recipe also calls for uh, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar so that's what I have here I'm going to pour that in and I'm going to take my whisk and whisk over this now another thing that you could do is you can see uh, this balsamic vinegar is a very dark color they also make a white balsamic vinegar or you could just use white vinegar okay and that'll make it clear and it won't basically uh, change the color make it darker. of your salad and some people are scared of darker color if you know if yeah it's not ranch or something that they're used to they may be a little leery to dark basil right so you know use what you want uh, what the recipe will tell you to do is to pour this over and most people, majority of people, I think, like the uh, vinegar and oil dressing. Mm -hmm. So you can just lightly toss. Now, Abby, if you would give me the serving. Yeah. Now, you don't want to just beat this thing to death because it will bruise the vegetables in here right. and it'll, you know, maybe ruin, it'll, they'll look bad. Yeah. Probably then they spicy. won't look as appetizing. Right. So here we go. Yay. And you want to get me another one? Yes. Yeah. Come alive here, Abby. I know. I was honestly, I was thinking about how I was going to taste test it and couldn't find a spoon. So I was being a tad bit selfish. Okay. And well, forgot the other okay. serving. <laughs> Yeah, that smells really good. Okay, and when you look at this, you can see that it looks very flavorsome, very healthy, very light. And this would this would do well on a on a summer night right. when you're having maybe a light supper instead Sunday of afternoon something cookout too something. heavy. And this would be great uh, for cookouts mm -hmm. because you can make it ahead of time. Just stick it in the refrigerator, and then out it comes and it's just so easy to make. Once again, if you have questions about this recipe or any of the other things that we've done here on RTC, just give me a call. Uh, eight, I'm sorry, what's my, what is my area code? 574-223-3397. Five, five, I don't dial that number too often. So anyway, give me a call and I'll be happy to send it to you. Thanks so much for watching.